While urban areas expand, the natural world recedes into the background. Still, some animals can adapt to the changes and live life beyond the lines. For swallows, human architecture is no deterrent. They prefer these brooding buildings. The dark ledges provide shelter, with nooks and crannies ideal for nesting. A home within a home. Swallows are perhaps among the most unique of homeowners, though not for their choice of location. These birds build their nests almost entirely out of mud. The nests are clustered beneath roofs, fixed like ceramic vases on a shelf. But for a home made from mud, comfort is still key. So to add the finishing touches, the inside is lined with a soft bedding of grass and feathers. In this humble abode, the young live comfortably, safe within the clay walls. One day, they too will learn the careful craft of pottery and build their own birdhouse. For swallows, nest building is a cumbersome task. By the water's edge, they collect pellets of wet mud, one beakful at a time. Then they fly to their nesting site combining the mud with their own saliva, like laying cement on little bricks. And as it dries, it hardens into the beginnings of their home. Up to a thousand bricks are needed for the build, and this may take them a few weeks to complete. Swallows, martins and sawwings all belong to a family of passerine birds called the Hirundinidae, which diverged from its sister clade in the early Miocene around 22 million years ago. The family contains up to 90 species, and at least 40 take to mud nesting. Over eons, swallows and their nests have evolved side by side, both intertwined in a long evolutionary tale. In the open grasslands, there are few places for a bird to call its home. This passerine bird has dug a shallow scrape in the ground, her eggs hidden among the greenery. Ground nesting may be convenient, but there are risks. Danger lurks in the wilderness, and these exposed eggs are easy pickings for predators. Over time, High predation may lead some birds to look towards the trees. Others may be driven to seek refuge in the earth instead, digging deeper and deeper nests for survival. Eventually, ground nesting evolves into burrowing. In the Hirundinidae family, the ancestral swallow was a burrower. And even the more primitive species today still take to the behavior.
These sand martins are burrowing birds. Together, they puncture small holes across the face of a cliff or riverbank. The burrows are usually found around water and high above ground, away from land predators. They can stretch up to a metre in length, with a nesting chamber at the end for the eggs. But for these small builders, digging is only possible when the soil is soft, which limits their places to live in. Similar burrowing ancestors that dispersed to new environments may have needed other methods for nesting. Eventually, an innovation evolved allowing swallows to colonize unsuitable breeding grounds. Mud nesting, which evolved only once in the family. Their size helped set the stage for this behavior, lightweight enough to live in such a seemingly fragile home. In places with high humidity, mud nests collapse under the moisture, unable to keep their shape. But in drier climates, they hold like little clay castles. In Africa, the birds thrived, diversifying and expanding their range. While some species kept their simple cups, others learned more complex designs. These cliff swallows can build enclosed nests that offer more protection from predators and extreme weather. But as their architecture evolved, so too did their social system. Most birds in colonies are still territorial. They aggressively squawk at intruders to defend their space. But mud nesting allows for more peaceful living. The enclosed nest helps to define the boundaries of a territory, so neighbours can tolerate each other and live closer together. Swallows typically live in large colonies, sometimes reaching over 2,000 nests. They are built directly beside one another, like terraced houses on a street. Here, the heightened security is worth more than the claustrophobia. Around 8,000 years ago, the Hirondinidae family saw another evolutionary transition. The barn swallows had diverged from their North African ancestors at a time when the first human settlements emerged. Man-made structures were built and some early birds seized the opportunity. They succeeded in these new environments, diverging from the ancestral population and expanding their range to other settlements. Today, barn swallows can be found throughout the Northern Hemisphere. And they nest almost exclusively on 
bridges and buildings. These birds have evolved alongside humans. Their architecture closely entwined with man's in this evolutionary journey.